and welcome to AI Tech. Today we will be talking about hyperparameter tuning in AI. So what is exactly hyperparameter tuning in the domain of artificial intelligence, especially for deep learning and machine learning models? So hyperparameters are used to optimize and fine tune your existing models. It enhances your model's accuracy. Uh, to simply put, they are like spices added to your food, which makes them extra delicious and edible. So hyperparameter works on hit and trial basis. So you have to keep on trying with different hyperparameters until you have achieved your desired result. Or it could be accuracy, the best accuracy, whatever. So what other types of hyperparameters? They are learning rate, epochs, addition of max pooling layer, regularization and much more only a few of them are mentioned here and so what exactly do hyperparameter counter you know that's the main question so they counter two major problems in models one of them is overfitting and the other is underfitting let's see how the use of different hyperparameters can change your models outcome so I wanted to show you guys how using different hyperparameters can affect your model's outcome, accuracy and loss values. And in this sheet, I'm showing you the combination of different hyperparameters I use for my deep learning model. Uh, I use learning rate, epochs, dense layer, convolution layers, transfer learning as my hyperparameters. Uh, so as you can see in the first run, uh, I had learning rate of 0.01 and epochs were 25 there were no dense layers no convolution layers there was transfer learning but the accuracy was 0 0.36 and loss value was 0 0.98 on testing set so accuracy is quite low and the loss values are like quite high for a deep learning model so but in the same sheet by using different combination of uh, hyperparameters i achieved accuracy of 0 0.63 and my loss value decreased to 0 0.81. So by just using different values of hyperparameters, as you can see, I use 0 0.0001 learning rate, 100 epochs. Yes, there was use of dense layer, addition of dense layers. There was no convolution layer, there was transfer learning, but the accuracy went drastically. It had a higher jump from 0 0.36 to 0 0.63, and my loss value decreased from 0 0.98 to 0 0.81, which is quite nice. And so, I just wanted to show you guys how of the same code, but using different values for your hyperparameters, you can change the outcome of your research.